Let's learn how to collect a drinking water sample. Before samples can be collected, the steps outlined in the Prepare for Sampling video must be completed. This includes the run, bag, and tag process where you run the water, place a bag over the outlet, and attach a do not use sign to ensure that the water is not used for 8 to 18 hours before you collect the sample. If you have not watched the Prepare for Sampling video, you can find it in the description below. Now it's time to collect samples! You will need sample bottles, bottle labels, and a chain of custody form provided in your kit, and a pen. Starting with the first outlet you plan to sample, fill out the provided bottle label with the appropriate station ID, sample number, date, time, and outlet type. Make sure the chain of custody matches the information collected during the outlet inventory. See the Label Samples and Complete COC video for more detailed instructions on how to fill out the labels. Once the label is filled out, place it neatly on the sample bottle. Next, remove the sign and plastic bag from the outlet you're going to sample. Open the labeled sample bottle with clean hands. Make sure not to touch the inside of the bottle or lid. Line up the sample bottle under the faucet or fixture and be ready to collect the very first stream of water that exits the tap. For sampling drinking fountains, angle the bottle to try to catch the first stream of water. Turn on the cold water and fill the bottle up almost to the top, leaving a little room at the neckline. Be careful not to overflow the bottle, but if you do, do not dump out any water. Tightly screw on the lid once you have completed your sample. Finally, fill out the chain of custody form for the sample that you just took. For help completing your chain of custody form, see the Label Samples and Complete COC video linked in the description below. Once the sample has been collected, you can dispose of the bag and sign and allow others to resume normal use of the sink or drinking fountain. Repeat this process to collect one sample at every outlet. After you've completed all samples, follow the instructions from your laboratory provider to properly pack the samples and return them to the lab for analysis.